and people come up with all kinds of ideas of why things happen the way they do, but it's simply the principle of karma mm -hmm. uh, exponentially applied to the group and mm -hmm. the society and the world. The, the, what we see as results of our human actions are the results of karma. That, mm -hmm. that law of karma is operating in everything in every and mm -hmm. in, in everyone's lives and so the the consequences that we see in the world they are the the totality of our the karmic, collective karma yeah, yeah the collective karma in a sense so so the question is are we stuck in that destiny right mm -hmm. it's um it's called determinism in philosophy is it are we determined is our future determined essentially mm -hmm. already Mm -hmm. Like can you can you see somebody and just by by looking at what they're doing now, does that determine the rest of their history? Mm -hmm. And the the answer would be that yes, if this person is not conscious in any real way, but they're simply playing out their karmic conditioning, you can pretty much see where their life is going to lead them. There's a famous saying in psychology: the best predictor of past behavior. Uh, future behavior is past mm -hmm. behavior and so we try to get people to change that we're in relationships with or our parents to change or our boss to change or even ourselves to change and it, that kind of feeling of powerlessness to that and yeah. what i think what when we get to that idea of like what determines your destiny is that i think number one is owning that you can that you can change it and that you're the cause of cause and effect. There's no external cause. And I think what people, when you have an experience externally, mm -hmm. you think that thing is the cause of my suffering. That, you know, losing my job or having no money in the bank or having someone reject me romantically, that's the cause of my suffering. Instead of saying, no, the cause is in my mind. My mind is telling me this is bad, right? Yeah. And that's the cause of my suffering. And so we need to pull back and take responsibility for the cause. And then so if it, there isn't enough money, there isn't enough love, then I, if I'm the cause, at first you want, don't want to blame yourself, but it actually, it, it's not blaming, it's actually taking responsibility and taking control of your own destiny.